Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into another trophy pushing episode inside of Clash Royale, continuing our domination with the Golem Elixir Collector combination. And a lot of you guys like the trophy pushing I did inside the most recent episode. I'm going to try to do more of it. The deck I'm playing today is a little bit of a variation from the previous Golem deck I played. This one uses the Cannon Cart, which is a, a card that I've fallen in love with. I love the Golem Cannon Cart combination. The Cannon Cart puts so much pressure on your opponent and really forces them to respond in, in a semi awkward way. Obviously, pros are really good at responding to the cannon card, but your average player usually struggles against it a fair bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this right now. All right, we're at 4,849 trophies. Picking up some wins today, 30 trophies a win. We can get like four or five wins. Would put us right near 5,000. And starting off for this first battle against Fatty Rhyme, I'm going to get ready and see what we can do. Now, I love having the Elixir Collector in my starting hand. Sometimes that's not a reality though, so we'll get our goblins down. Um, one, th one thing to note is when I play goblins like that, that makes it so I don't have the goblins to protect my um, elixir collector. So if he plays miner, I'm going to have to use the night witch. Let's see what he does if he throws a miner down. I'm going to wait and eventually play my um, night witch. Let's use our mega minion to clean up these minions, hopefully. Hopefully we don't get zapped. Oh, kill that minion. Oh, nicely done right there. That's going to work out perfectly, guys. The giant did get some hits, but this is about a good, as good of a start as you can ask for. Plus, the golem counters the giant as long as you don't get too far behind when it comes to elixir. Now, with that, with that uh, executioner right there, I don't mind playing my golem in the same lane. I can take this executioner out fairly easily. I have a big elixir lead right now, and already this game feels like it's over. I know it's not. Not over, but it feels like it's in a really bad position for Fatty Rhyme right here. He's going to play the mini P.E.K.K.A., which, you know, is going to do its best, but it's going to struggle just a little bit in taking us out. Goblins are going to go down, so they go in front of my P.E.K.K.A. hopefully eventually. Poison Spell is going to go down here. Minions are doing their best right now, but with that explosion, Cannon Cart's going to make its way through and check out this Cannon Cart damage. I told you guys, Cannon Cart puts in so much work. Mega Minion doing work on these minions. Tornado's going to go down. That's going to do nothing, guys. We are going to just completely decimate that tower, and guess what? Cannon Cart OP, that's going to be tower number one. That's how you want to start off a game, guys. You want to started off just like that and with that cannon card even getting some damage onto the king tower showing no respect to fatty rhyme right here we're getting so much damage done 3700 hp left in the tower there's a reason i keyed on the cannon card right when i started off this video it's just so good and as he plays this golem as he plays this giant we're so far ahead on elixir that there's really no possible way we can lose this game um that's why the elixir collector is so punishing right now it it gives a crutch to new players like me or new, not new but noob players like me who you know Need a little bit of help in, a, you know, dominating their opponent. Now, he's going to play probably a Tornado sometime soon, which is going to get some great value if he ends up playing it eventually. He's going to play a Log. Did he have to? Yeah, there's the Tornado. Uh, I played everything into that Tornado because I was hoping he wouldn't play it. Instead, it's going to go down in a moment. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to drop a Golem right in his face. Just really not show this guy any love right now. And with that Golem going in, plus the Night Witch, maybe we can just get something done. Log's going to end up hitting the giant perfectly. Golem's going to go down over there. Mini Pekka will die in a moment. And uh, even though we started trolling a little bit at the end of this game, we are going to be looking so good. Cannon Cart's going down, and this should be GG well played. All right, guys. Pretty nice battle right here against Fatty Rhyme. Looks like Goblins, Night Witch, all of the above is going to be able to take him out. Poison Spell as well, just in case those minions come down, which they do. Fairly predictable right there. And with the Cannon Cart plus that Mega Minion on the other side, guys, we are going to get so close to that uh, two crown. And uh, one more Cannon Cart in the center to crap that off. GG, well played. All right, there we go. 4,812 ended up taking him out right there. We'll get some decent trophies for that. 26 trophies, and, and like I told you guys, really good counter matchup right there. Getting that Elixir Collector down early and protecting it was super, super effective. And uh, yeah, just like that, we're a step closer to 4,900. Let's keep it up right now against Lab Bru... I don't even know how to say that. I don't know how to say that. Seems French. Let's get ready for the next battle. No Collector. Guys, I don't remember the last time on video I've had Collector in my starting hand. Very, very rough start. Could be going against Log Bait, obviously, with this Goblin Barrel plus the Goblin Gang. You have to think that that's a pretty strong possibility. I'm going to play Collector. Notice I'm playing in the center because normally against Log Bait, they're going to have Rocket. And, uh, yeah, it just depends what type of Log Bait this guy's playing. If he's playing the Log Bait with, um, with Tesla, then I'm a lot, feeling a lot better with Golem. But if he has Inferno Tower, that's going to be a little bit difficult to deal with. He's going to end up playing his Mega Minion right here. So let's see if we can do something. Uh, he's going to end up getting that Miner onto our Elixir Collector. So we're going to be able to chop that down before it gets full value, though. Not the worst thing in the world. And, uh, yeah, let's just keep up what we're doing. Eventually get such a big Elixir lead that there's nothing he can do. But having Minion Horde is definitely fascinating. And, guys, we just got so much value off of that play right there. So much value that he definitely didn't want to give up. Uh, I'm going to play a Collector, hoping that he doesn't have Rocket. But most likely he does. And uh, let's see how this works. Uh, yeah. Okay, there goes the Elixir Collector down. 
Elixir Collector is doing work, actually. It's going to start pumping up. And does he not have Collector? Now, that is a tragedy. Mega Minion on this Princess. Those Princesses at the bridge are not effective, especially when you're down so much Elixir as he is uh, right now. Night Witch is going to go down, and hopefully... Uh, I didn't stop the Miner because I didn't play it close enough to the pump. But you guys know what we're about to do right now. We're about to lay it down with the Golem straight up at the bridge. Here we go. Golem's down on this bridge right here. He does have the Inferno Dragon, or Inferno Tower, which feels terrible. Here goes my Poison Spell, hoping that this Night Witch can eventually do something as these bats crawl forward. Uh, Night Witch is going to go in. Golemites are being targeted. That Night Witch is going to put in some work in a moment. Does he have Log right now? No, he doesn't. Take a look at all the damage that's about to go down on this tower. Night Witch did lock on for two hits onto that tower. Beautifully played. And uh, even with all of this running down the lane, I'm not too scared. I'll take a little bit of chip damage if I have to. Elixir Collector is going to go down. Still not feeling the best about that. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're in a decent spot. Double Elixir is much uh, in our favor. Ooh, that's not good with that Miner right there. Um, yeah, that's definitely not good with that Miner right there. Night Witch is going to end up dying in a moment. Hopefully these bats come out and do something, guys. Cannon Cart's going to start taking some damage, but that's really all we can ask for. And oh man, guys, I think we just put ourselves in a pretty bad position. Uh-oh, I'm going to get ready with the uh, poison spell. I've got the... Uh-oh. Oh no! No! Oh, we are so bad, guys. We are so bad. And because of that, we got out of rotation with our poison spell. He made us pay. Elixir Collector's going down. Cannon Cart's going down, guys. We are going to end up losing this battle in horrendous fashion. Oh no. Just what we needed was to get taken out by this dirty log bait player. G, G. And unfortunately, we weren't able to make it happen. Now, oh, that just no respect in my face with that Inferno Tower right there. All right, guys, we're going to end up taking this loss. Well played to Labriel79. Uh, going to get so close, but guys, the reason that we lost that is definitely because of our poison cycles. Because we got our poison out of cycle, that's our only defense against the minion horde. I think I used my poison spell on the princess and like got a little bit of tower damage, but that costed us big time in the very end. Let's get into another battle right now. Sad times. Sad times. I need to be better aware of what my opponent's win condition is. Normally, you don't see log bait with Minion Horde, which is, um, you know, why it sort of tripped me up. I was thinking it was just a classic Knight Goblin Gang uh, log bait where, you know, uh, obviously he didn't have the Knight inside of his deck. Starting off this next battle here, I'm going to throw a Cannon Card at the bridge. Very aggressive play. Let's see what he does about it. Cannon Card's going to lock right onto the tower, which is sort of what I wanted. There goes the minions uh, right there. Or there go the minions right there. I've got a Mega Minion in a moment. And let's make sure we take as least hits as possible from these minions by playing our Mega Minion at the very end. And here goes that Dirty Spirit Goblin Hide. All right, well, that's going to be the name of the game right there. Poison Spell on this Mega Minion, though, will give us a fair bit of value. He's got this Prince coming in, which is going to be pretty dang deadly. So we've got to make sure we've got our Goblins uh, ready for him. There it goes right there. I've got Night Witch ready as well. See if we can do something with all of this right here. I guess I'll have to log this to keep this prince off my tower. Bats are putting in some work right here. And looks like we're going to be able to defend that tower. But I'm not sure where the elixir stands right now. I feel like I played a lot of stuff right there. And uh, let's see if we can make this work, guys. But uh, yeah, Goblin Hut. One of the uh, most devastating cards in Clash Royale right now. I've got the elixir collector ready. Let's see what he does. He could have... Ah, uh, man, I can't even play my Collector because I'm too scared of it. All right, let's track where we are. I think we're even on Elixir. He just played one Elixir, so let's get our Cannon Cart down right now. Feeling good about this defense, being able to hold out on this guy. Ooh, Cannon Cart actually has a little bit of HP too, which is really, really nice for us. If we can get this Cannon Cart in range. Okay, he's not going to let it get in range. Let's get our Elixir Collector down, and this will do a great job. All right, here we go. He could play a Prince down the lane, so we got to make sure we're aware of that. Goblins are ready. Elixir Collector getting some great value right now. Got, or Miner's going to avoid the... Uh, actually, he's going to avoid the Elixir Collector with that Miner. That's very interesting right there, and because he did have a counter to our Elixir Collector that I didn't know he had. But let's get our Golem ready, and this is where we make some moves. Now, a Prince coming down the lane would be pretty difficult, but he played it super, super late, so I can actually make that work. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and let that Prince do all of everything he wants to do. I've got the Night Witch ready, plus the Mega Minion ready right now. Let's take him on right now and see if this is going to be the push of our dreams. Here we go. Ooh, Fireball's going to miss our Cannon Cart, which is what we want. That Mega Minion, though, getting way too much value. Oh, that Mega Minion demolished our entire push, and uh, that's how everything went downhill. Now, I'm going to get a Poison Spell down onto all of this. Let's see what he's going to do defensively. He's going to end up dropping his Miner again. Same position, so I'm going to find that with the uh, beautiful Goblin play right there. Another Elixir Collector going down, guys. And at this point, we're only like two Poisons away from victory. So it's probably time to not be crazy and to just make sure we keep our cool. Now, meanwhile, on this other side, speaking of keep our cool, he's going to play a Double Prince push over here, which just seems like a very peculiar decision. Looks like we're going to get some work done with this Cannon Card right here. Even with the Charge Up, not going to be able to do its best. Miner's going to go down right here. Looks like that push is going to die pretty easily. 
as his fireball goes in, that's not going to be able to do the most amount of work. 451 HP left means all we have to do is log this sucker down, play our poison spell, play a goblin just in case. GG, well played, guys. And that will be the end of this battle. All right, nicely done right there. One final tick to give us that tower. GG, well played. Much better than the previous battle. Double Prince is something that has made its way back into the meta, but obviously having a golem for defense if I need to use it defensively. Having the cards that I had, it worked out really well. Uh, let's get into another battle and see if we can finish this off well. Three and one on the day would be pretty good. Obviously, the second battle was a little bit tragic. Let's see if we can go three and one and finish this one off. Krugs from Half Baked will be our final opponent of the day. And finally, 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 we have the starting hand that we dream about. We have the Elixir Collector, we have the Goblins, and we have the Golem. We can do whatever we want to do. I've got the Goblins to defend this Collector in case we need to. If he plays a Miner, the Goblins will catch it just in case. He's going to end up playing this over here, which is uh, seems pretty interesting to me. Expo is going to lock onto the cannon card eventually, so hopefully this can move forward just in time. Nicely done right there. Um, Mega Minion is going to go down. I don't know if that Collector is going to get locked onto. Oh, it did get locked onto by the Expo. Mega Minion will kill it, though. But this is a fantastic matchup for us, guys. We have the Golem. We've got the beautiful Golem to take any of our worries away whenever we need to make sure we're defensive. We can just drop our Golem in case that Expo goes down. Let's get ready just in case that Expo wants to peep its ugly head up. Night Witch is going to go down, though, instead. And let's see what Krugs is going to end up doing. Uh, he hasn't played anything so far. That's an interesting play. Not playing anything is, uh, you know, a very rare maneuver. We're going to use our Elixir Collector now, see if we can keep stockpiling that Elixir. Maybe we can get a better tank off this time with our Golem. If he plays his Expo right now, it would be fantastic. There goes the Expo right now. Golem's going to go down just in the nick of time, guys. Want to make sure it's as far back as possible so we can put in some work against these archers and everything else. Take a look as the archers go down right now. Mega Minion's going to die right there. Tesla's going to go in, guys. And this is that Expo Tesla deck that usually I see with an Elixir Pump. So this is a little bit weird. He doesn't have that Elixir Pump. Golem's going to explode onto his Tesla. Hopefully that Mega Minion gets a hit. Nicely done. We're not going to be able to break through very well, but that's going to be okay because at this point we're starting to make a little bit of an elite as far as our elixir goes and let's get another night witch down this deck this deck or this battle works much better in our favor once we get into double elixir he could have a rocket so keep that in mind for this uh, elixir pump right here but there goes the second pump there goes that night witch down the lane and what is he going to end up doing okay fireball is the name of the game even better for us that's going to be a one elixir positive trade guys and uh, it's time to crank this into high gear as we get into double elixir goblins are ready for an expo if it goes down and there's no expo in sight all right well let's go ahead and play our our goblins right here. I've got our beautiful cannon card as well to put in some work against this over here. He went really aggressive on this side, guys, and that's not going to work in his favor. In fact, this cannon card putting in such a great job that we really don't have to do too much else. So Tesla is going to go down that we can poison. And with this Night Witch running down the lane, just have to be worried about this Mega Minion. The Mega Minion really is the only card I care about too much. And there goes everything. Night Witch running towards that tower. What a beast right there. And it's time to play our Cannon Cart to hopefully finish this tower off. Let's do it. Check this Cannon Cart. Cannon Cart's going to be aggressive. But guys, the tower's already going down. Why did I even play that Poison Spell? That's going to be GG well played. And honestly, a really tough matchup for Krugs. He doesn't have the Elixir Collector. And he didn't get, like, he didn't get a surprise Expo down, which is what you have to do when you play against my deck. If you're playing a goal with an expo you have to play it at the perfect time in single elixir and take out their first tower and then go crazy on defense if you want any chance of winning and uh, unfortunately for Krugs, that didn't end up happening gg well played and that is going to wrap it up for this push today all right pretty good we didn't get to 5,000 trophies like we might have hoped but we went three and one on the day getting ourselves up to master one which is pretty nice for us and uh yeah that's gonna do it for this video we're just starting our trophy push so we're still sitting at 1,849th in the world but i know we'll skyrocket as we keep making our way up the leaderboards that's gonna do it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you smack a like until next time i will see you guys later here's the deck peace out